What's Missing in Our Politics by Eric Schechter Most political activists call for reforms to clean up corruption. They think our society has merely strayed from its fundamental principles. But they don't realize what the principles really are, and that the principles are the problem. It's like the game Monopoly, which always ends with all the players but one impoverished. That's in the rules, not just chance or cheating. For 10,000 years, separateness has been fundamental in our lives. It's in all of us, not just our rulers. You keep your stuff in your house. I keep my stuff in my house. I don't need to care about you, and I can't afford to care about you. Bullying, homelessness, and shootings become common. We don't shoot our friends. Why can't we all be friends? Separateness has terrible material consequences, too. If we don't share, we must trade. That may seem harmless, but it favors the trader in the stronger bargaining position, making him stronger still, increasing inequality, thus creating poverty and plutocracy. The wealthy class and ruling class merge, rather than check each other in a balance of power. Power corrupts, as the Stanford Prison Experiment proved. War and other crimes for profit are justified by lies. Our rulers spread those lies through the mass media they control. And the market is grossly inefficient. Its prices, far from true costs, omit huge unmeasured side effects, particularly ecocide, which will soon kill us all if continued. That's inherent in the very notion of private property, which is a denial of responsibility a psychological decoupling of our local actions from their distant costs. We'll be made safe only by a culture of caring and sharing that leaves no one behind. That's a change far bigger than what the word revolution has usually meant. Perhaps rapture would be more descriptive. But I don't mean just prayers and smiles. The plutocrats won't give up their power without a struggle. At any rate, to make change possible, the first step is to get people talking about it. You can read more at leftymathprof.org.